how pop artists build personas in search of an update of the image. Which elements do they use on their performance to make people understand that some disruption have happened on their careers? Hi, I am Adriana Maral and I am a professor at Postgraduate Program of Communication at Universidade do Vale do Rio dos Sinos in Brazil and also a researcher at CNPq, that is the Brazilian Federal Agency for Science and Technology. Hi, and I'm Tatiana La Rubia. I'm a PhD student of the same institution, and today we're going to talk about personas in pop music. In our paper, we try to understand how pop artists build personas to update their image. And we think personas as masks that can be appropriated by the artists uh, many times through their trajectories. Our theoretical frame comes from performance and persona studies in order to analyze culture and pop music. And we focus on the case of pop artist singer Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus has begun her career at Disney, a multinational children's entertainment company, and is recognized by the media as the new pop chameleon for introducing different personas when she wants to reinvent herself artistically. This work is part of a study that seeks to understand the construction of personas as a recurrent phenomenon in the context of pop culture. And then, from the analysis of the case of Miley Cyrus, we identify elements and strategies to configure this phenomenon and how are also adopted by other artists in this segment. We use four categories to analyze the persona bangers. The categories are narrative, sonority, aesthetics, and corporality. And with these categories, we will identify all elements that let people understand that since the moment she has released this album, she has turned out a different persona. Miley's album that showed these transformations is called Bangers and it was released in 2013. This was her first record as a solo artist without any relation with Disney. And to emphasize this break, she has focused on intense creation of a new persona. Our proposal seeks to understand this transition as a release strategy and as an artist reinvention where a persona can be analyzed as a media phenomenon. In the narrative, the story behind the persona bangers is that, as we said, that Miley wants to show people that she didn't belong to Disney Corporation anymore and also that she wasn't a teenager anymore. She plays herself as a crazy girl that just don't follow the rules. This is the story of the persona bangers. Talking about the aesthetics of this persona, we see it is uh, very imagery and Miley uses a lot of colors. The way she dresses to express herself uh, is very unique. She uses a lot of personal stuff as icons, uh, like her tongue or her dog, and she uses it as signs to connect with her fans. In the sonority, we can see the Miley seeks for a rupture between the kind of music that she uses to sing when she works at Disney and the songs that is on bangers. So she brings a lot of songs that talk about sex and drugs and parties. She also makes a connection with the hip hop. And another thing is that she does her best to show her voice, especially on the song Breaking Ball, because a lot of people use it to talk that she doesn't have a voice or something like that like a good voice and she do her best to show the people the opposite. The corporeality in the bangers persona is something that brings us a lot of to talk about. She brings the twerk, she uses it to show a lot her body. Even when she was inside the stage, when she was walking on the street and a paparazzi took photos, she was like for the nipples or something like that. And she was always making connections with sex. Yeah, the corporeality was very sexual. We've noticed 
the, the social drama from the end of the teenage years to the adulthood was used as cliffhanger to advertise the script of the rebel young girl, which is not an alter ego, but it overlaps with her own timeline as she left Disney and started her career in another direction. This coming age drama creates and resonates in her fan base, who is also changing the age status. Her habit persona was built through stages in a consequence of events that were released through different media channels, including her social media. So with her social media presence and the mainstream media and her album and videos released, the audience and the fans could read this persona. Our discussion on this work is that even though persona has been a current concept in different fields such as theater, psychology and psychoanalysis, the scholarship on pop music and performance studies also has paid some attention to the idea of performance as Aus Auslander and Fairchild and Marshall have stated. Our work also understands Miley's persona as a co-creation of public identity between the artist and her fans, such as the construction of Lady Gaga's analysis done by both Bennett and Gray. In this sense, we aim to contribute to the intersection between popular culture studies, music and performance studies, by trying to think about Miley's persona as the intermediation between real and fiction, drawing upon Diana Taylor's 2003 idea of script, where the performance is theatrically is up to flaws, ruptures and negotiations.